Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little's Law YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to see about how to execute a JMeter with Selenium WebDriver and we are going to do a parameterization in this script. So recently I have got a LinkedIn request asking for a video on how to run a JMeter with Selenium driver, a Selenium the web driver sampler and on top of it they asked me to show how to do a parameterization. So today in this video we will see how to do it. So with no further ado let's go to the video and before that I request you all to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet like share the video with your friends and please do comment in the comment section if you want to have any videos on any particular topics on performance testing or any in devops so to start with the web driver sampler or the selenium driver we need to set up few prerequisites so let me open the prerequisites so the first part is we need to have a jmeter and inside the jmeter we need to set up the selenium web driver and the chrome driver and for that we will have to navigate to this page. This here is the web driver sampler. And once you download, so here I have downloaded the latest version. And once I have downloaded, I have this library files, which I have to copy it inside the so i go into the apache driver and then inside the live lib i have to copy paste all the files which we get it from the downloads so that's the step number one and then coming back to the step so the first step one is copy pay, copying all the library files and pasting them for the selenium web driver so copy paste all the lib files from the downloads to the apache jmeter lib folder and then the second part is the chrome driver which is quite interesting so here you have this link under this i go to the downloads page and in case if you want to select any of these versions which is 114 until 114 you have it here and in case if you want to select any of the other versions you can download it here so for our example i have downloaded the chrome driver win32 and here i have the chrome driver so once i download it i have the chrome driver dot exe and the license dot chrome driver which i have copy pasted inside the apache driver and inside the licenses so inside the lines licenses i have pasted the chrome driver 32 win 32 and let me even add that so download the exe the chrome driver exe and paste it under the licenses so now when we want to open the config for the chrome driver and we can open the samplers since we have the web driver and make sure you restart your jmeter after you make all the changes after you copy paste all the files so now the next part is i'm going to open the jmeter here and i'm going to add a thread group so under the thread group i'm going to add the sampler which is going to be the web driver sampler and here it comes with the default code and the next thing is we have to add the config element and in this case i'm going to add the chrome driver so here i have so we all know i have pasted the file in in the inside the license one license folder so i will paste the location of the chrome driver so there's a first step to do so which is so this is the location of the file the chrome driver file which i have in my mission inside the licenses folder so this will call your chrome when you want to open it so now we have set up the web driver and the chrome driver sampler 
and next we will add the listeners so in this scenario i'm going to add the view results tree and then i'm going to add the view results tree table which is here so now we have added all these so coming back to the code so the first step is i'm going to add a very basic code just to open the page so in this example i'm just going to open the page here so this is going to be a very simple page let me save this inside the jmeter plus selenium web driver and it's going to be the thread group hyphen 2.jmx let me save it and let's start it so here you can see the moment it started it automatically closes because we do not have we do not set up any think time or we do not set up any load time so for that what i normally do is i usually add few lines of code so let me add those lines here and i will explain it to you so it starts with opening the first page which is the get request of the catalog action which is the the home page or the landing page and then after that i wait for the page to load so this is the code for that so which is the sample result dot sample start and then i wait i have i add some waiting time for the page to get loaded and then i add a five seconds of think time so that i can view the page whether it is rightly loaded in this case and also i want to emulate the real-time scenario by giving enough amount of space between each request so now let me save this script and we will start the execution and now here you can see the web page is loaded the like expected url and after five seconds it has automatically closed so that's the very basic thing so now in this page so in this page store page we normally have few links to access which is we have different categories of products so first let me take you through one of the product here so for that i'm going to add the following script here so which is opening the second page and in this case i'm going to open the page with the href which is the hyperlink reference and that is to be the fish so the word fish will be searched and it will be opened based on this href link and the code for that is the wds.browser.find element using the selenium css selector so i'm using the css selector and after that using the category id fish i will click it and it will open the page for me so let's now try this so in this second example i have i'm opening the first page i'm adding a think time and then i'm opening the fish the page the category code fish and then another think time of five seconds let me save it and let's start the execution the page has loaded here let's wait for five seconds for the second page to get loaded and then here you can see the second page which is the fish has got loaded and then yeah it's over and now let me add few more pages to the script and i will show you how does the navigation works so here you go i have added the third page which is the dogs category and then the reptiles category and in case if you want to add more you can add you can keep on adding these steps so let me save this script and let me start and here you can see the page has loaded the very first one which is the landing page and then the fish page which will wait for next five seconds and then it will move on to the dogs category and then it will move on to the final category which is the reptiles and then it closed so now we have given the values in a hard coded way we have not parameterized it so again to answer the question where they have asked how to parameterize it and here i will show you how to parameterize the script or how to parameterize the value and how to pass it during the script execution dynamically so for that we need the same setup which is the config element which is the csv dataset config and i have already a file which has the parameters of three 
values. So let me just open it for you. So it's under the bin and under the cell name web driver and the params.csv. Let me open it for you. So here I have the dogs, reptiles, fish. Let me even add the any of the other values. I can even add. I don't remember. Okay, let, let, let's just keep it just for this three. So let's have these three values, dogs, fish, reptiles, and uh, sorry, dogs, reptiles, and fish. And we are going to navigate or we are going to use these as the variables. And the variable name is going to be category since we are going we are dealing with the categories so i'm using the value or the variable name as category and i'm not i'm just i don't worry about the first line ignoring the first line because i do not set it up as the variable name and no other changes it's just the same regular setup and now the next thing is here we have to make or we have to change the code so for that so here I'm going to just change the value so we can remove all the other pages in here. So I have removed all the other pages and the only thing which we're going to do now is the parameterization. It's the same regular one which is the dollar symbol, open braces and the word category which I have already copy pasted here. I'm closing the bracket and then we are going to escape this value by adding a backslash and then the same double quotes and then the bracket, the closing bracket and then we're going to add another double quotes. Let's close the bracket. Oh, I think we have the brackets already there. Let me just remove it. Yeah. So now we have the values set up. So we have the a href so let me just make a few change in here so let me just change this to double quotes yeah so now i have a double quote started and then a href star which will pick up any value and then there is another change which is i'm going to escape this double quotes using a backslash so this will again escape the value and now we have added so now we are going to see how does it work. So this time, the first variable have to be passed in the category and we have to open the docs page. So let's try it out. So I'm running the script now. The login page has opened. There are no issues. It's working fine. And now see here, here you can see the value docs has been is coming from the parameterization file and it's running fine. So now in, in this case, I want to try a different, uh, I want to try different value. So I'm going to just iterate it to three and let's save it and run it and let's see how does it work. So here you can see the web page has been loaded. Then let's wait for the second page, which is the dogs. Then let's wait for the second iteration. So now the second iteration has started. And now let's see which value is coming. So now here, here you can see the value reptiles has come. And now let's wait for the third iteration. And now let's see which value is coming now. So it's fish. So the parameterization is working fine. So now we will try this with multiple users. So let me open two users with three iterations. And let's see how does the parameterization magic works. So here you can see we have got two users with two different values and they are running one after the other. So every time we can get different values dynamically from the parameter file. So in case if you are adding different values, you can use them. You can see it works, it, the, the CSV, the parameterization magic works. So this is how the JMeter plus the Selenium web driver works. And then on top of it, we have sure thrown some magic of doing the parameterization. So with that, if you have any queries, please do comment in the comment section. And with that, I've come to an end to this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So until I meet you in another interesting video, it's bye-bye from Asan Shanmugam and Little Slaw.